What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. So in today's quick video I just wanted to let you know that Cydia Impactor has finally been fixed. You probably do not know but for the past couple of uh, days I think or hours the Cydia Impactor was completely broken and I'm going to show you. I'm trying to install Yalu Dark using this version and you're going to see what happened. As you can see by pressing OK in here, it will give this error about the certificate and the SSL. And from this point, nobody could have get it working. But if you click here on Cydia Impactor and check for updates, unfortunately Cydia Impactor doesn't tell you that there is an update available unless you check it manually. So um, a lot of people do not actually know the fact that Soric updated Cydia and they still ask me in the comment section how to fix it. So here you go, you can go ahead on Windows, check for updates and there is a new version that was pushed a couple of hours ago and you can install it. Now let me explain a little bit about this version because some of you see here bundle Cydia extender for iOS. Cydia extender is not something that you might believe it is. So it's not that thing that, uh, I don't know, makes Yalu uh, sign it for a longer period of time and so on. Sorik simply said that it is not actually what he wanted it to be because it, it is not working and he realized it has to use a uh, developer certificate or developer account in order to make the Cydia extender, whatever it was, working. But the uh, fix for the certificate error is actually working, so I'm going to install the update. You need to download the, uh, the newest version of the impactor and uh, yeah, somebody should probably tell Sorik, I will probably message him and tell him to add a module to automatically notify the user when an update is available. Because uh, as you can see, if you open the application, it simply doesn't tell you that there is an update. You need to go and check it manually. And that's why a lot of people simply do not know that there is an update and do not know how to fix this. Now to let you know about the problem, for the past days, CDI Impactor couldn't simply install any IPAs due to that certificate issue. And it was finally uh, fixed, as I said, but I'm going to also show you what to do in case this happens in the next uh, couple of days. I don't know if it happens next time. So you need to remove everything from here and put the um, impactor back. It's pretty straightforward. And let's test it if it works now. Now, the problem was only on Linux and Windows, but it was a pretty serious problem you do not uh, open this, so do not install CDI Extender, right? And you need to log in again. All right, let's try now. My device is connected and now the problem should be fixed. And as you can see, it literally started to add the, um, the Yalu package again and you can see it's no longer erroring out. Now what you should do if, um, I don't know, shall this error happen again. Well, there is also a uh, method that can uh, that you can use without CDI Impactor and that method uses actually 25pp. We discussed about 25pp, uh, which actually uses Yalu but with a Chinese interface, that you can use for an emergency situation like this one when Impactor doesn't work. And we discussed about it in one of my videos in, um, uh, in which we discussed about the 25pp and also look at the disco confirmed the fact that it's safe. It's actually uh, Yalu with a Chinese interface. He said you should not use it uh, due to the fact that it's simply Yalu with a Chinese interface, but it is actually safe. So if it is required to use it, I mean, uh, should one of these situations happen, it will pretty much help you to get uh, Yalu working without CDI Impactor. So yeah, I, I was able to install Yalu perfectly, you can see it is complete. So yes, if you have that problem with the certificate, go ahead, check for updates and you would be good to go. This is actually it guys, till the next time, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated for more tips and tricks, and I'm Geosnow, peace out.